Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? Still no, uh, we're not going to do the cam very much here today once again. Yeah, I'm just, I'm worried about the uh, bright light uh, giving me some migraines. Not having a good time with that. So we're just going to keep the cam cam off for now. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone's doing fantastic. Hope everybody's enjoyed uh, their weekend and uh, got through the hump of the Mondays. Yeah, end of day for most of those in the, in the world for Monday today. We are uh, three quarters of the way through. Hello, hey Lean, how's it going? As always, thank you so very much to my early birdies, Penny and Lean, for coming in and slapping that like button. Uh, I've been looking forward to playing this game for a little bit, but mind you, I put in a lot of time yesterday. I put in way too much time yesterday, but we did it. We finished at like 4.30 in the morning. <laughs> but uh, I was so close, I could see the end in sight, and I was like, no, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta finish, I gotta finish, I gotta get this bunker filled. So, as you guys saw with the thumbnail for today, it is done. Ah, but we have some more work to do, so I can't wait to do it. Thank you, Lean. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You always forget? Nah. Oh, is it? You got yourself some hot weather, do you? Oh, man. I'm glad I'm inside an air-conditioned place at this point in time. I don't think I could handle doing the, the hot, hot heat heat today. Mind you, I do after stream. I have to go out. I have to go pick up a few groceries. I'm out of hot chocolate powder. I got my last one right here. That's it. The last of my hot chocolate. So I got to go uh, buy some more. I got to get some hot chocolate, uh, some batteries, because, well, I don't have any batteries left for the controllers. So, woo! Everybody's having super hot weather. I don't think we're doing too bad. I think we're only in the early early 20s, the low 20s. Oh, I got an email. Let me see that. Let's have a quick look and see what our weather forecast is today. iPhone 6 Plus. It's old. Takes a while to... Yeah, it's only 24 degrees Celsius out right now. That's the you're supposed to hit the high of 25 at 5 p.m. and then cool off to about 23 overnight. So not bad, not bad. So yeah, we'll be reaching 25 in like about an hour. So yeah, not the greatest of weather, but we got like six seconds left. Get your drinks, your snacks, your buttons, comfiest position so we can kick back, relax, unwind, and enjoy today's game. Woo! -hoo! Let's jump into the game. <laughs> oh come on! Really? Really? Are you going? Come on. You can do it, stream. Come on. Come on, OBS. There we go. Yeesh. Talk about delay, delay, delay on that one. Wow. 29 tomorrow. No, we're supposed to get like 23 tomorrow. I can handle that. Getting a heat wave next weekend? Weesh. As you can see, I have a little bit of a frame issue it's going to be turning into a bit of a slideshow trying to uh, keep up with this is going to be pain in the butts now let's see infested i have never had any plants inside here infested before okay so we'll have to uh, work on that one now something that i i'm busy working away doing everything in my hand my uh, cursor went over and says auto fertilizer reservoir. I says what? So I was like, how does what? How does this hold on? How does that work? And then so I'm looking at it and everything else going, but I have fertilizer. It's not pulling. I'm going to take a guess and say we take the bag, put it in our hand, <gasps> and that is how we do it. Ah, nice. Hell, I'm down to like seven frames per second at the moment. Um, what I'm going to do is this front row here is a bit of a pain in the butt. It bounces out from being in the water zone to not being in the water zone. As you can see, it doesn't say it's part of the control room, so it doesn't grow nearly as fast. I'm just going to remove these ones uh, once they get 100%, and we're going to use those as decorations around the town. And that I thought that would be kind of a nice thing to do. Check it all out that way. Come on. Come on, frames, frames. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting like around six frames per second. Now, 
is really weird. I've gone through twice now and completely reordered all of these plants. Now, if I jump up and in, whoop. if I run down here, you'll see that there's a bunch of spaces that have started opening up. Now they open up in this corner and I have two buckets. I have this one and this one always pop themselves out. I've gone through and I've completely cleared all these up, put everything back nice and tight and everything, like removed the entire row all the way down, got that all looking nice and tight, came down here, did the same thing, and after about uh, 15 games in day, or uh, game days, they all just pop back up like this again, and it looks all exactly the same, so I'm not going to worry about them to heck with it. Yeah, no frames for you. No, definitely no frames for me. That's for sure. All right, we'll take the fertilizer pack, put it into there. We now have 100% fertilizer. We want to get some more going on. So I have no idea how long this lasts or anything. So that's going to be interesting. But yeah, we need to go get ourselves a spray bottle. Here, spray bottle, bottle, bottle. We have a plant that's infested. Not happy with that. How dare you? All right, so then I do have some more plants that are inside the house. I got one here. I got one here. One here. One here. One here. Another one over here. And then I got like three more that are over here. So all these additional extra ones are just basic decorations. That's it. Um, just letting them grow for now. I was trying to see what the differences in grow speeds were, whether it be outside, whether it be inside with no lights or whether it be downstairs with uh, no control center and with control center. So I've been pretty, pretty on top of things. Try, well, trying to be on top of things anyway. Uh, you know what? Let's just... Perfect. Set you there. And we'll go speed through some of this stuff. So if I do my math correctly, we have 48 rows times 22 minus... Two, so that's one thousand and fifty-four. Now we did need like two thousand or one thousand and eighty in order to create four packs at a time, um, but we're building like three point nine packs right now. So I mean, come on, jump! Wow. Okay. Yep. Frames. Frames. Come on. Frames. There we go. We got a lot of big packs, or should I say, huge packs? We got a lot. We got a lot. I've been busy. I'm busy. Now, since we last were on stream with this, I only grow, uh, I was only growing on the weekends and then Monday through Friday, I was just going and buying pots. That was it. And then Friday afternoon, put the pots all uh, down into place and then plant and then once again, harvest on Sunday. So that's how I've been doing it. But all right, let's skip through a little bit of time here. Oh, oh, something I forgot is we can paint the house and trailer or the house, the, the, the trailer house here and the garage. So we should probably go check that out too. All right. Well, let's go do that. Let's go do that. Now, let's see. I like how we got a silver down here. Silver is gray. I wonder, I wonder if we can match up that blue. Let's go find out. Uh, do I have any gray left? Gray. Yes, gray. Let's give it a shot, shall we? What's it say down here? Ah, I see. It doesn't say anything down there. Interesting. Well, that uh, pretty much hit it. Let's go get ourselves some of that metallic and gloss going on, though. That's uh, removal. Clear. Okay, I don't want that. I want metallic removal should be here. Clear. Clear! Wow, that pretty much matches the house. Sweet. Let's hope that metallic does uh, something. 
Come on. Oh, my frames are even being affected out to here, too. Sheesh. No worries, though. We'll get that harvested. There we go. Okay, that's better. That's better. No, well, it's almost like the... On the bottom. Almost. Yeah. Close enough. It reflects is what I was looking for. All right. What should we do the garage color in? Hmm. Probably do it gray. Just to match everything up type deal. Gray and black trim maybe. Let's hope we have enough paint left. Well, there we go. It's it's definitely gray. E should we make like a metal quonset out of it? Let's see if we can make a metal quonset. It's pink just for the hell of it. Not quite. I have to stare at this thing all the time, right? You know, just saying. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's see if we can get her all bright and shiny. And hmm, there we go. Looks like the galvanized uh, roll formed material there. There we go. <laughs> I just remembered that and was like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I gotta paint this place up. Uh, you know what we forgot to do. Silly e-brake. Always starting when it's not wanted. Alright, so everything had water, right? Water, 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 water. I'm worried that I have to water these ones outside because I had to when I first planted them, so. We shall see. Pink. Pink! Pink! I gotta stare at it all day. It'd be just as bad as, like, putting, like, you know, neon signs all over it. Like, <laughs> be able to see it from space. <laughs> You know, out of all the colors, pink is one that I do not like at all. And it's funny, because almost every cream soda that you buy comes with a pink label. This is clear cream soda, yet it has a pink label. Why? Why do they do that? Why? Uh, let's just take a look down here and see where we're at. Okay, they are fertilized. Sweet. So 61% and 40%. All right. You see how they also say they're fertilized? <laughs> These ones? So they're in the room, but they're not totally in the room. I just, I don't quite understand that. I don't, I don't get it. Oh, frames hitting the walls, quick crazy. All right, let's take a look. We have to water. Yes, we do have to water. Okay. And we'll ask the, also has to make sure that they do not get infested, huh? As we already seen, these plants can be infested inside these pots. Can I do the one in there? Nope. You know, I should probably just set them all outside. Just make it easy. I mean, they are just all decorations. Once they're fully grown, they're just going to go in spots along uh, the house here. I'm going to give some to my brother. Of course, we have to give some to the gas station, our apartment. We have our cottage. Lots of places to put this stuff, so that's why I grabbed um, a few extras on top of this entire row. Alright, let's go grab some Merple. Merple? Merple Serple? <laughs> Sorry, J-Rock, I've been watching you too much. Calling it Merple Serple. Some maple syrup. I don't know how he ever came up with Merple Serple, though. Boo! <laughs> hey, V-Buzz, how you doing? <laughs> But see, now I start running over this way, and now I'm up to 30 frames per second again. So he has done a very good job in localizing the chunk areas. So that way they don't affect you as much. But definitely as we've been uh, adding to the game... Oh no. I have no lids. 
Oh, what are we to do? Uh, well, we'll just grab one from here. Yeah, but most definitively. Oh, yeah. Gotta buy some more lids. But we can do all that when we're uh, out doing out and about. So I have played in game 412 days so far. Oh, nice. You're setting up lights in the other game. Nice. And the uh, landlord super. Nice. I saw that you sent me a, a, um, an email about another truck accident. <laughs> that helicopter one was pretty good. Um, but yeah. Yeah, Landlord Super has a... Every once in a while, apparently, Winston has himself a bit of a traffic issue. And gets himself in a bit of trouble. I have yet to see it, but I can't wait to see it. I can't wait for it to happen. It is hilarious. Have a sip of hot chocolate. Mm. And hot it is. Oh. In game, yeah, it's still spring in game. Yes, sir. Nah. That's okay. I'm all right with that. I'm all right with that. Some games just don't have time move by. But I mean, you only do get a, um, a maple run, I think, is only from like March to. Or maybe it's February to end of April, beginning of May or something like that. Like, it's it's really weird. It has to be just the right temperature in order for it to uh, to go through. 85, 55, all right. Probably got to do about two saves and hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be able to grab some of that stuff. Nice. Lighting in the catalog. I don't remember lights. We'll have to go back and look at that later. Oh yeah, um, like I said, I reached out to the um, the dev slash moderator. I'm not sure what the heck the person was in uh, the Discord for Landlords, Landlords uh, Super. And they told me that, yeah, the small green table is having glitch issues. You will have to change either, you know, grab a different table or grab a different color in order to uh, progress in the game. And I was like, oh, okay. I'm like, yeah, but once you put it down, you're good. Okay. Here we go. Let the party get started. Uh, 99%? Empty? We got all the way up to 99% on that last one? Come on. Come on. Ask it's already full. Great. Now I'm lost. Mommy. I'm lost in my own basement. What? These aren't grown yet? Oh, 98%. Okay, let's go find out where the 100% ones are. Alright. Work our way from here down. And hopefully we'll get some frames back for this. I'd say we're doing alright. Let's see, we're doing all right. They must be new. <laughs> Sticking to it. Oh, did you get yourself into the um, the the beta program? Uh, no? Yes. Okay. It's hard to see where I'm going nowadays. Come on. Come on. Alright, you got some left in it. Mm. Come on. Let me in. There we go. Once in a while, it likes to do that. Drives you crazy. Frames, don't fail me now. Woo! 
We're up to three frames. <laughs> Come on. You can move forward, but not too far. Thank you. Too far. Too far. Oh. The agony. Oh, come on, game. Don't piss me around like this. It's because it's having to update all these buckets to go from full to empty. That's why it's uh, giving me such an issue at the moment. But yeah, so now we know that my computer can't handle this much, uh, updations. <laughs> yeah, stop motion series. <laughs> Basket's full. All right, we take that away. I should be able to look around and then head the direction that I want to head. And it should clear up. But yeah, that's that's what exactly what's going on at the moment is that the game has to update all the baskets or the pots. And so it hurts. It hurts the frames a lot. That and streaming on top of things is really making it pretty slow because I was able to hold around eh between 12 and 13 frames when I wasn't streaming, when I was um, getting close to the end. This is the first time I will be doing a full, full, full harvest. Like I said, I don't want to grab that front row, because that front row, front row, the front row is for uh, decorations. So once they've fully grown out, they'll be pulled out of here. I wonder, can I... You see how they're all just going all wonky, weird, and everything right now? Yeah, that's not going to help my frames. <sighs> so we're getting a lot of collision issues. Like I said, the, the developer isn't the world's greatest at collision issues. In the end, I might have to not only pull this row out here, I might pull out a row um, like on the far end against the wall. So we'll only truly technically then have a 27 by... Or sorry, a 47 by 21. Ugh, the frames... The frames, boss. The frames. Oh, gotcha. The car driving portion of it. Yep, there is uh there is that in game, that's for sure. Yeah, there's a racetrack and everything else. It sits, it's it's all part and parcel of it for sure. Actually, hold on. I go this way. Maybe it's because of these buckets that are all lifted up over here. Maybe, 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 maybe. See if we can fix that. Ugh. Let me through. Baskets fall. All right, and that's another huge pack, right? Yeah, another huge pack. Sweet. I'm going to set you here for now. And then when I have some frames, I'll come back and put you away. <laughs> it crashed so hard it uninstalled itself. Uh, car driving space games aren't your jam? Ah, gotcha. Well, we all have our, our, our favorites. And for me, I do happen to enjoy the uh, the simulators. Um, I like all, all of them, the driving and everything, except for the, the, the shooting types. I've never been one for the, 
for the first person shooters. Now, I have played Call of the Wild and I do enjoy that, but I don't really see that as much as a, you know, first person shooter. I see that as just a hunting simulator. So far, we got two big packs out of this. So like I said, I expect to get every bit of three on this particular harvest because we had so much left before previously. We are probably going to get four. Yeah, boy, these things really mess up pretty quick, huh? Oh, boy. Two frames per second. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, you can do it. I'm doing everything with just like the slightest touch motions with my controller. I'm trying to keep because of the frames, I don't want to just fly off and all of a sudden be in the middle of the forest. Hey, Bone! I'm doing pretty good, my man. Doing pretty good. I've gotten really far in this game. My sleep schedule is thrown to whack, though. I was up to like 4.30 last night before I was even tired. And it's like, okay. But I had pushed myself to uh, get this uh, game where I'm at now. Completely filled this entire room with as many pots as I can. As you can see, they're, they're water fertilized, everything. It's awesome. But, uh, the frames, boss. The frames. Well, for me, it's the the twitch muscles. It, it, it forces me to use those fast-firing muscles. And if I do that too often, they start to... I don't know what the word is. Uh, it's like spasticity or something like that. Basically, they just go all crazy and start doing this weird cramps and stuff. And it drives me nuts because my finger won't stop twitching for like three days. It's funny though, when I do go and play um, shooter games and stuff like that, like, you know, I uh, if I have a revolver, I will empty that revolver just because of the twitch factor. It's just, <laughs> whoops. My bad. We did that in, uh, what was it, Ranch Sim? I think, yeah, Ranch Simulator. There's a really good example of how that happens. Uh, uh, I need, I need, yeah, oh, uh, gimme, Jimmy, this is just horrible. No, too far. Gimme. Ah. Uh. The frames. <laughs> it's the other <yeah>, Germany's. <laughs> it's because I have so many of these potted plants and the developer uh it's got a bit of an issue with collision meshing and so since it's not quite perfected all of these pots and everything else are jiggling that's why you see just already there's three on the left hand side that we've uh, gone by here that are just all lifted up it's because these uh pots are jiggling they have plants that are growing in them that have like five or six different states and then right now I'm harvesting it. So every one of these pots has to not only calculate its collision jiggle, but as well as update its value with the, uh, with the plant that I'm pulling out of it. So now that's saying, okay, now you're dry, you're not fertilized, you're not blah, 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 you know, everything. It's doing everything all at once. And so it's just, it's causing one hell of a frame show. What I need to do is I need to get all these plants out of here, run for a fair distance away, so that way they can do all the calculations in uh, the background, not trying to do it as in real time. It'll work better. Oh yeah, if I were to drop everything in game, yeah, definitely. Here, I'll show you. If I go over to video, and then... 
uh, da, 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 da. graphic quality. Here we go. I would change that down to low. No. Apparently that didn't uh, do it as well. It's just probably my processor is probably just being overloaded with all these values. You gotta remember, I only have an i7-4770 here, right? So, she's an old beast, but she still runs, she still plays 99% of the games that uh, I want to play. <clears throat> the one that's really going to bug me is if Hogwarts Legacy, if my PC is just not strong enough to play that, that would drive me crazy. Like, no! That game would be so beautiful and fantastic in 4K, but I don't have a 4K resolution monitor. My PC does definitely cannot handle that. <laughs> But yeah, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's weed-induced. Slow motion is weed-induced. There you go. At least we're doing it virtually. There you go, kids. You want to know what it's like to be on, uh, on marijuana? <laughs> this is your life. All frames. Come on, turn, turn, turn. Thank you. Oh, that was really delayed, but hey, not bad. I didn't do too bad for that. Come on. Wait for it. Wait for it. Nope. Too much. Come on. Just give it a second. It'll catch up to us. Mask is full now. Of course. Uh... Whoa, too far. And that's with the low resolution graphics. Oi. But yeah. Like I said, once these plants over here grow up, we'll be we'll remove that row and hopefully it will fix things up a little bit. Weird. Every once in a while, it catches like some good frames and then no frames. Not sure what that's all about. Ask it's full. So let's see. We have at least three, three packs or four packs already going on. That's crazy. Come on. Because we should only be getting 3.9. Oh, I suppose we had two extra baskets. So maybe, maybe. Hey, Karsten! You don't play that much in 4K? Oh, man. If I had 4K ability, I would, I'd would i be all over that. I love beautiful graphics. Now, you got to remember, though, I don't even have ray tracing on my 1080 Ti. So the, the, the RTX came out uh, after the 1080 Ti series. I was the last card before ray tracing came out. So I've never seen ray tracing and that's something I kind of want to kind of want to see in a 4K experience. I want to see all that. That's why I was, uh, you know, like Harry Potter would be something else to watch. I bet, you know, if you had yourself a beastie PC, check that one out. That would be awesome. Hogwarts Legacy. But make sure the game is optimized. Oh yeah, that's what I'd use. I'd use the GeForce stuff, right? I've always been a big fan of keeping my drivers up to date. Yeah, and I got very lucky. I was able to play um, Cyberpunk 2077 because they did a massive update for the 1080 uh, series. So I was able to play and I was getting good frames. Like I was pumping on average, you know, in the high 50s. So... I'd take it and enjoy that. 
Yeah, and that's that's basically what I would like. You know, as long as I can get thirty to you know thirty to sixty frames per second, but try not to drop any lower than forty, that to me would be an experience. But I've just played so many of these simulation games, right? That there's just really no there's no sense in for me trying to you know have a big massive PC. I mean, yeah, it might make it easier so I can render videos instead of you know real time. You know, 40 minute video takes me 40 minutes to, to render. But other than that, I mean, really, I, I just don't think I'd get my bangs worth money out of it. Your 1080 would play around 200 FPS in 4K? So that 1080 Ti just barely does it in uh, in uh, 1080. Barely ever gets uh, in like the like Cyberpunk and stuff. It, 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 without that update that they did for the GeForce, NVIDIA GeForce thing, it uh, would not have been as good as it was. There we go. Now we're starting to get some frames back. So all the calculations have gone through, but you can see how these plants are jiggling. So I gotta go here. Set that there. Take you. Set you here. This is the dumb part. Alright. It's just not enough space in here. Dang it. Okay, can I drop it there? And, nope. Dang it. This is how you gotta do it. Just like this. Slowly move yourself in with all these frames and put all these pots back. It's a pain in the butt. Put you here. So I got some more space to do this. No, it popped. See if we can prevent it from popping. There we go. And that's how I've been doing it. <laughs> so look at that. We got five more packs out of that. Sheesh. We are definitely, definitely going to have to do a... Uh, a sale off to the dealers. But now now I'm pushing around 19 frames per second with just everything, all the pieces jiggling. So we are good. We are good. Let's see. So these are all watered. Nice. I would have thought they would need another, another water in by now. Nothing infested. Sweet. Really? Nothing infested? All right. Take a quick boo downstairs. Nothing infested. Alright, like I said, I'm going to get rid of this row here. All these ones that are planted. These are going to be decorations. Uh, let's see here. Can I grab you? No! Damn you! Ah! No, uh, damn me. Uh, my finger twitched. And so I accidentally threw it behind the wall instead of uh, dropping it. No. No. That makes me upset. All right, so let's just get a little closer then when we do this. There we go. So we got four packs out of that instead of five. Dang it. <laughs> we lost 10K because of that little click. 64 gigs of RAM. Nice. That'll work. Your beast of a computer took five minutes per 15 minute episode to render just for audio. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to remember that uh, you have how many layers going on in that thing. Like you have like what? 30 plus layers on some of those videos or some of those um, audio dramas. So yeah. 
you are going to uh, definitely uh, have a, a slower time rendering that up. Most definitely. All right. Still got one other one over there. Whatever. Okay, so we got you. Got you. You guys are all good. Okay. We got to go drink some maple syrup. Yeah, we'll run to the sugar shack for that one. Check to see if we're dry yet. Yep, now they're dry. Of course they're dry. Six o'clock. It covers my phone, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I can still reach it from over here, though. All right, let's go get some maple syrup. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. No, and that's that's the smart thing to do. Like, when I um, uh, purchased slash built my PC, I wanted to make sure that everything was going to last for over five years. That is my minimum requirement when I build a PC is that it's going to last every bit of five years. Now, previously, um, uh, with the uh, the ex-wife and everything else, the rules were was we do not ever pay for cable. We don't ever do cable or anything like that. Instead, uh, we have internet and good PCs. So... As long as you have internet and a good PC, you don't need cable. You'll be able to watch everything, anything that you want to watch. You just have to subscribe up to some channels and such. So that's how we got around it. So instead of paying, you know, an additional $100 per month for watching cable television, we paid like an extra $42 with all her subscriptions to like whatever the Discovery HGTV thingy was. Yeah, your, your, your graphics card has RAM. That's why it says, like, you know, six gigabytes and stuff like that. Oh, I f oh, you only have... I thought you had a 1080 Ti. Oh, I thought you had a 1080 Ti. Hmm, okay. Yep, so that's... Yeah, that's how that works there, Lean. Like, I think mine's... Five or six gigs of RAM, I don't know. I'd have to go look it up. Oh, oh hot chocolate's not drinkable. Well, that wind better not be bringing in no storm because, dang it, I gotta go get some groceries. I'm out the toilet paper. <laughs> Alright, let's get her sleep on. Oh, yeah, I mean, like, for me doing what I'm doing here on YouTube and everything, I have, I have a good setup. I will say that. I just, it just takes longer time to render, that's all. Oh, through 3080 Ti. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 that's what I thought. I thought you, I thought you started off with a 1080 Ti and then went to town when you did the three monitor thing and everything else there. You went for the big ones, uh, and we're stuck again, all right, there we go. 88%, 92%. Oh, we have one that's infested. There we go. Let's go check the ones upstairs. Nothing. Whoa. Why am I getting frames like that here? We just get a major jiggly bounce or something downstairs in the basement? We just have an explosion of all our pots? I hope not. Alright. Let's just go down there and check. No? No explosions? Okay. Alright, let's just see here. Go back to video...
So at least now I'm looking out here and I'm holding a good 20 frames per second over all those. So that's not bad. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I was sure that you had the 1080 Ti. I thought for sure you did. Okay. So I wasn't crazy. I was, I was beginning to doubt myself there. Uh, uh, let's do another save, I guess, while we wait. I want some plants up so we can go take some to Eric, to the gas station, to Melanie, to, um, basically all around town. Gyu. Everybody gets like two plants. You get a plant. You get a plant. You get a plant. Ah, uh, 99. 99. Oh. 99. Come on, tick over. Tick over. All right, one more quick sleep. That'll do it. Yeah, I haven't used two uh, graphics card together since I had my old AMD system. And it was like, I can't remember, like a 7950s or 7970, something like that. But, uh, it was hilarious. It was the perfect setup to play ARC on day of release. Everybody else that I knew, like, you know, they had, you know, computers that were like, you know, a year newer than mine and stuff at the time. And they were, they were, not, they were totally unable to play. And I'm just rocking through like no, no issue. Like, not a problem. Remember poor Mindscape. How are you able to do that? <laughs> what? I can't. It's a. It's just not working. And it's just because I had an AMD uh, graphics card. And it was the uh, dual system graphics cards. Dang it, I hate that. You gotta grab from here. No. You can't. Urgh. Yeah, whatever. Nice. Nice. Yeah, well, if I ever win the lottery. I'll pick myself up. I'm really beastie PC. Small chunk of land. ton of solar panels. <laughs> Big old battery and just enjoy life. I'd still have a garden. I might have to hire some people to help me put the garden in and that, but I'd still have a garden. I don't think we're going to fit as many in here as I thought. I thought we were going to be able to put eight in there, but maybe not. We'll see. I've never tried to stack the back or stack these up. Uh, and I can't remember what I have right now. I have like uh, an MSI Z7 series or something like that for a motherboard right now. All I know is it takes the older RAM, doesn't take the newer RAM. I take like DDR4 or something like that. And they're at like DDR way past that. <laughs> <laughs> but no, you know, fingers crossed that it lasts for a few more years. Just until YouTube takes off large enough that it can uh, sustain itself and uh, pay for another Beastie rig. Now, in a perfect world, it'd be awesome to get one of those, um... Oh, shoot, I just had the name of it. What's the name of that company that does the... 
uh, the really ridiculous gaming rigs that are out there, like really good parts and everything else. I can't remember their name. Uh, they did uh, Barney, Barnaby, somebody like that. Not a fan of MSI? Oh man, I've had nothing but absolute amazing luck with it. But then again, I really take care of my, P or my PC, right? So for me and my PC, it never gets turned off. I do not turn my PC off. There's just no sense in turning it off because you're getting all the micro fractures and that into the, your components, right? So every time you um, turn your computer on, it heats up those, all the gold, everything. Then when you turn it off, it cools it down again. Well, what happens? Expansion, contraction, micro fractures. And since we don't need you again, we can turn you off for a while. And see, see what I mean by how there's two that have uh, popped up. This one here. And this one here. And then these spaces over here are just going to get huge. And then I'll have to come through and take out three rows. Straighten everything up all along that side. Then come over here and remove one row to about here to this the speaker box. And then, boom. Right, I'll show you how many seeds we have. We have a lot of seats, just say. We have a lot of seats. 7,665 seats. I'd say we're doing all right for seats for a while. Well, before we hit the road, let's grab ourselves a poutine. Yeah, I've eaten all that poutine that was on the stove and in the fridge. That's how much I've been uh, playing on and off the uh, over the last week, besides Landlord Super and that. I've been doing the works. Which way do you think you're going there? There you go. That's better. That's how you get the underneath that trailer. Oh, I think by the time we're done, everybody's going to be closed. Oh, well. We can set stuff up. trailer is uh, really wigging out back there. It's not having a good time with this. And stop. And stop. Stop. Can you stop now? Close enough. Thank you. Just don't want to put the e-brake on. You put the e-brake on and you're going everywhere. Hello, brother. How are you today, huh? There you go, brother. <laughs> you can get in trouble, not me. All right. But if everybody's growing CBDs, there's a lot less pain in the world. All right, let's grab it. Go right about there. Oh, no, I can go in just a little bit more. Dang it. There we go. I hate that it lifts and drops like that. It drives you nuts. Perfect. Perfect. There you go. There you go, brother. You have yourself some plants. Looks less puttiness. <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. That could have been bad. Leaving a trail right to my doorstep. Wow! This trailer is pulling all funky. It's pulling hard to the right.
Man. Yeah, I can't remember. I, I had... I priced out like two years ago or something like that for the X saying, okay, yeah, you know, if we're going to upgrade my PC, this is what we need to go with. And she was like, well, we're going to wait until she gets her bonus. Mm, but we divorced. So it never happens. <laughs> All right, Gil, Gil, you live right here, don't you? Gil, my friend, my lost and finding friend. Here we go. In Canada, you're allowed six plants, so. He's not getting in any trouble. Close enough. Okay. Might as well do the post office. Just make everything all purdied up. I'll just check and see if we have any mail. No mail. Oh, so drab in here. We need to put one right here. o'clock Melanie's probably gonna be closed but we can drop off two plants there and don't be reselling these Melanie Good, didn't fall over, didn't break. Woo! -hoo. All right, we'll probably have one outside and one inside, maybe. Same with the gas station. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got over. We got a full tank. We're good on this. Okay, so probably just put one out here for now. And then we'll put one inside the building later. Now I still have the racetrack to do. And the cottage after we do the um, tier federation. Oh, they're, they're, they're like that here too. They're lean. They are not cheap. Motherboards are expensive, man. Everything's expensive now. Everything's gone stupid expensive. I'm at the point here where it's like, hmm, I might as well wait until the, uh, the 590s come out. You know what I'm saying? All right, so just put you over here for now, and then when the store opens up, we can put those in there. Yeah, they are starting to come down a little bit, but it's not nearly as much as I would like for them to come down. I'd still say they're about 20 to 25% uh, 
too high in price right now for what they are. This would help if I turned on those headlights, huh? I'm getting a little dark. Oh, and the 9 series just came out? Nice. So yeah, uh, a bunch of paperwork that I've been having to do lately has been having me try to link up what years and stuff like that. And so I'm thinking I got this PC in uh, 2012. So 10 years ago. Now since then, I've upgraded from the two AMD cards to the uh, 11080 Ti. We made it home, but not before we weren't able to buy any maple syrup lids. Oh, well, no biggie. Let's go run over and grab some maple syrup from the store or from the sugar shack. Rock and roller, how you doing? How's you and the missus? She hasn't been putting out any videos lately. I've noticed yours have slowed down quite a bit too. Going in spurts and stuff. You enjoying the farming sim? Definitely need to go get some more uh, maple syrup lids. Love that fog though. Looks so good. So good. And that's saying something for Unity. <laughs> ah, full time job keeping you busy. That would do it. But nicely, and that works. Okay, these are still watered. Ah, because of the fog, right? Right, it's even saying it's watered in the house. That's cool. Uh, we got a little bit of time. I was a load up for tomorrow. Ooh, ow, come on, quit it. Let me through. Oh, nice. Um, I was not a fan of Empyrean at all. I tried it with um, the TMFL group that I was a part of way back in the day. And I just did not have a good time with it at all. Did not, not like it. Um, Space Engineers, that was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, no, I was not a friend of Empyrean. Nah, didn't like me, I didn't like it. Like, nope. Not to make up a tea, that one. Yeah, we played Space Engineers for a little while. I can't remember too much of it. Now it's completely a totally different game now. I mean, same with Seven Days to Die when I originally played it. It's not what it is today. It's it's completely different. And I can't say it's for the worse either. You know, it's it's done really well. So, you know, get on that developer. Doesn't beat you up early on anymore. I can't remember. They had this giant big update with spaceships and all this other stuff because we were playing it from um, the first day of early access release, and then. 
we didn't play it for like eight months later and then we tried it again and yeah it just i was just getting shredded i was like Arr. that's my type of game and if i remember right uh the way the keyboard settings were or i no, i couldn't set my orb weaver that's right it was driving me crazy that's what it was i was trying to set my orb weaver and the orb weaver was like nope sorry you not being recognized it's like but you're just a simple game thing that turned out was because the um empyrean didn't have the the purchased rights for the 360 controllers or any of the uh, the additional peripherals so uh, they they had their own programming going on so that's why everything was turning around being so glitchy for us All right, so that gives us eight more trees. Now, do I really want this many here? Because we still have the bunker. You know, I'm tempted to take this guy. Put him over here. Two there. Two there. One here. Yeah. Just for now. We can always bring him back later if we want to. All right, let's get the sleep on. It's already 1 a.m. We're going to be sleeping in tomorrow. Bud! Yep. No worries. How's it going, Eden? Totally understand. Uh, thank you for not texting and driving. <laughs> All right, 97%. Sweet. 97. All right. I just don't want any of these to become infested before they get to 100%. That's the only only worry that I have. All right, we should be all right, though. Okay. To the Federation. We need maple syrup lids. Stat. Right here, I always find that I get a little bit of a frame situation. Then I get around this corner and everything clears up. Like that. Just boom, all of a sudden it clears up. Yeah, don't speed, don't want to get pulled over. What I don't want is a major crash. That would suck. Like that. Like that. Because now I have to put on my damn D-brake, which is broke as a joke. Give me. Yeah, you see how these things are just going all stupid now? It's because the e-brake, the guy does not know how to do collision mesh programming. Oh, fuck you. There we go. Hopefully we didn't leave anything on the road back there. Yeah, the collision mesh work needs to be completely redone in this game. He's probably going to have to update the engine, which means it's going to be at least a six and a half month progress in order to redo all that. Alright, let's get this set up inside the buildings for her. Stop!
Hello, Melanie. I brought you a present. And there you go. How are you today? Nice to see you too. That way everybody has to walk by it when they go into the store. Just a mess. Just a mess. Alright, close enough. Yeah, she looks happy. <laughs> yeah, with them have not having any facial expressions, I think it's hilarious. Let's see, where can we put some happy stuff for you and uh, Normal Jacques right about in here? Oh no, even better, right, right in the window. You're making a statement. <laughs> Oof. Uh, I put that there, then I can't walk through. Alright, so that's just not going to be a good spot for you. So let's put one over here. One there, one there. That works. One out there. Perfect. Later, Jacques. Enjoy, my man. Nice. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it there, Eden. I know that uh, Bud was looking forward to going out for his birthday. Once again, happy birthday, Bud. You can never get too much, son. Oh, what am I saying? I'm a redhead. You can definitely get too damn much, son. <laughs> uh, it's not that hard, actually, in my world to get too much, son. I just have to go out in, in the full moonlight. No, it's not going to work, huh? Here. I have a best friend, Eric. God, I hate your voice. You did so much better when you were a mime. Okay, one there, one there. Good's enough. Now let's go take a look at our racetrack apartment. Need to get that baby all done up. Oh, well, happy early birthday to you too, Rock and Rolla. Very nice. We have a lot of end of June, middle of uh, July um, babies in the community. That's awesome. Yee. Yeah. Mine was on uh, the 20th of June, not Father's Day this year. That's not good. Sounds like uh, your linkage isn't disconnecting or something like that. Yeah, I remember Bud was saying that you were having some issues with your, your vehicle. That sucks. Well, you know, like that's what all wheel, all -wheel drive is supposed to be about, right? So you have best grip all the way around and such. But it all depends on the application. You know, like, because, you know, so it's all about fast in, fast out. Or, er, sorry, slower in than fast out, right? So, it really depends on the application that you're using it for. Because if you're trying to drift, well, you don't want four-wheel drive if you're doing a drift competition. Oh. 
No. Why you get mad at me like that? Why you do that, huh? <laughs> There's a kid who's outside right now playing with one of those, what do they call those little plastic things, a uh, recorder or something like that? He's playing hot cross buns. <laughs> uh, to be young again. Mm, I was going to put it in the closet, but I guess we better not. Make it for a pain in the butt trying to grab our clothes. Put another one right here. Hmm. I think we've done it. I think we've got as much as we're going to do here. Alright, so we got four plants for the cottage. Not bad. Everybody's all set up. Town's looking good. Now we just have to see if we're going to make it. <laughs> the cottage <laughs> in one piece oh yeah yeah not much you can do about poor cell service yeah it's Canada yeah we have one of the worst things for coverage but I mean really you don't really need your phone <laughs> way up in the north 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 territories area well, sorry, I can't say you don't need your phone. It's just that you don't need your phone all the time. Yeah, you know, there was like an emergency service or something that would be great there, but there's nothing. There's no radio stations. There's no cell coverage. There's no satellite internet. There's nothing when you're up there. I brought a lot of DVDs with me when I went up there. is out in the middle of the forest in the middle of nowhere northern territories it uh, there's nothing there's just bugs just lots and lots and lots of bugs oh, on the 24th of July nice That's her, um, that's her internet, uh, her, um, avatar name. Yep. She does a bunch of different games in that as well. If I remember right, you two are both working on Farming Sim, right? If I remember correctly. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. I saw something. I saw something. Trying to get turned around. Give me 40 acres and I'll get this ring around. I saw something, but I think it was a, uh, it was a message saying it had to be done. Is my truck rolling away on me again? Truck is rolling away on me again. No! There we go. Oh, rock and roll. I thank you so very much. You'll get your uh, accolades and rewards eventually when uh, the uh, YouTube algorithm, th or not algorithm, when it decides to put it through. God, it takes forever. That's one thing I have to say about Twitch. When somebody does a donation or anything along those lines, it comes through quick. Whereas YouTube, it takes a while to get you folks the awesomeness that is the uh, the alerts. But thank you very much, everybody. Throw down your favoritist emojis and uh, say thank you to uh, Rock and Roller for supporting the channel with a $10 donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There it is. Wow. That was, uh, that was like, what, a minute? 
I didn't lose any coffees out here? Twitch is slower these days? I I watch Twitch for Deuce. That's about it. And Peaky. I'll watch uh, Peaky once in a while. But that's about it. I don't go on there looking for games and stuff anymore and everything. Since I pretty much, you know, just washed my hands with toplets and everything. It was like, yeah, I'm not going out looking for new talents or anything like that for any companies anymore. So it's like, yeah, no need. I'm just going to enjoy myself. And that's what I've been doing. Been doing a lot of work out in the garage and everything else. The scaffolding that uh, my dad brought down and everything else. I found a couple weak welds, so I'm taking care of that stuff. Because it looks like, it looks like the order for the sheet metal is going to be on uh, Friday. So my dad's going to pick it up. And uh, he'll arrive here on Sunday. So he's going to pick it up Friday and then be here Sunday. Reason being for that is like he says, that, that you know, there's with all the businesses and everything else, that's the last weekend of our, our, our week-long Calgary Stampede Festival thingy. So there's really no sense in trying to uh, to get started when it's like, yeah, if we need anything extra, we're just going to have to wait until the Monday anyway because most of the businesses are closed on the last weekend of the Stampede. So everybody can get their chance to get out there and enjoy it. It's been great. We've been having fireworks every night, and those fireworks I can see. And what's even better is that I think we're doing another fireworks uh, competition this year again, which is awesome because that's only like six blocks away from my house. It is awesome how good we get to see those. We don't get to see the, the low lowland fireworks, but boy, oh boy, do we ever get to see the ones that, that go up over 100 feet. Oof. We just don't get to see those great big spray bottle style ones. Now, if I remember right, there was a way to park up here perfect and have it stay. Was it right here? I think I found it. I found it. It's been a while. I haven't been up here in months. Alright. Oh, come here. Come on. So we have another composter box here. That's cool. So when we bought one at the house, it put one here too. That's cool. I want to see what's down here. What? What's going on here? Cancelled. I don't understand. Is it because we have one in the house? I don't know. But, regardless. We need to put down our happy little friends. one in the sunroom, I guess. Need another one inside the house. Yep. Yeah. Just gonna remind you of nature. Skunks around everywhere. And last one. Perfect. This one can move forward a little bit more. Oh, there. Nope. Oh. Don't. Oh, dang it. Come on. It's being a pain in the arse. Perfect. So when you're greeted, you're greeted. Too bad we can't, uh... Oh, I was hoping that we could fill that one up, too. But alright, that works. Nope, I've never played Vermont. 
Never play Rimworld. So we did it. We painted the house, the garage. We've completely filled that bunker to what is, well, within reason. Um, we figured out how the fertilizer works, finally. Now, the only thing we have to do is, uh, we got a whole bunch of huge packs to go sell. So, let's go get ourselves a set up over at the sugar shack. Get that uh, back up and going again. Then we'll load up with some some huge packs and we'll go visit the mainland Canada to the dealers and why was my brakes not working on that it's like this trailer is pushing me it definitely pulling me to this to the right every time I try to accelerate interesting I haven't even checked it out. Um, tell you the truth, I don't know. Is it like a like a Fallout style game or? Uh, I want to go to the right. Uh, yes, I played Prison Architect, the first one, not the second one. Welcome back, Matt. Hopefully your AC is just cranking and is uh, fully topped up so you're getting ice crystals thrown at your face. You got like yourself a slushy or slurpy or whatever, you know, depending on your, your, your faves. I have to admit, I do like 7-Eleven slurpees because they have like extra sugar in it. I don't understand why or how they do it, but my God, those are the most syrupy ones that I've ever been able to find. And I like it. But very few and far between have I ever been able to get a Dr. Pepper Slurpee. Always have to get Coke because they use um, phosphoric acid, not ascorbic acid. Yeah, <laughs> get you a pair of testicle ice cream. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah, I'll have to go check that out, Lee. Um, what do we got coming up? Oh, August. Uh, August we have Saints Row. Um, like I said, then there's Hogwarts, but I don't know if Hogwarts is going to be multiplayer or not. I, I do, I do know that, um, Saints Row obviously is. The whole game's based around that, right? So, that I am looking forward to. Eh, we'll just do a double run to heck with it. Yeah, but thanks again there, Rock and Roller. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Like I said, I hope you and the missus are doing really well, having a good time. Still enjoying the game in life whenever you get the opportunity to. Because that's the hardest part. You know, you get yourself into a rhythm, life happens, and then your rhythm is all thrown apart, and it's hard to get back to it. So we got 12 lids in there, all right. That makes me happy. Uh, what I meant to do. Thought I tossed it and grabbed a new one, but instead I just drank that one. That's okay, we need to drink one anyway. Yeah, I'm getting some frames now too. Down to 12 frames. 16, 17, 18. Just slowly going back up again. Is my computer trying to process something? I don't know. Uh, what did I do with it? Where is my one hit wonder? Where did you go? Ah, oh, you're behind the cream soda. That makes sense. Okay. Not really. I don't know why, but anyway. One second. Uh, 
Okay, we're good in here. We're good in here. Let's go grab that other set of lids. Eh. Trying to pack this thing one hand is next to be impossible. Oh. Saints Row is a parody of a parody of a parody of some wild... What the fuck shit is going on here? That is Saints Row. It's a parody of Grand Theft Auto. Man, it is fantastic. <laughs> to me, anyway. Like I said, we're all entitled to each what we like, but I really like Saints Row. I'm really hoping that I can see a little bit more footage before I pull the trigger on the $120 <laughs> set. But I get my carbon tax this month, so... Oh, excuse me. I think it's like on the 23rd or something like that. So that's where that's going to. 19 more days worth, okay. Woohoo! Let's go get some of those big packs out of there. I can't believe I accidentally tossed one through the wall, damn it. Arg. That's painful. That's painful. You're at 100 now, right? Yep. 100. Hundo, hundo. Hundo, hundo. Perfect. So we should never have to worry about these things ever being infested or anything along those lines. Hundo. Okay, so these aren't dancing as much anymore. That's a good thing. But yeah, like I said, you got those two here. <clears throat> these two that pop out. No matter what you do, these two always seem to pop out. And you end up getting these giant spaces down here and right here. But everything else holds pretty good. Still, that is a giant grow room. My god. What do we figure? We can sell like eight of these per day or something like that? I don't remember. Uh, you don't like laying flat? There we go. 120, you say? Um, I'd have to go check it out, but I think that's what it is on the Epic Store. I think. I don't know. I have to go check. But yeah, like I said, I get in the, uh, the, the carbon tax. My brother and I are both, both doing the exact same thing. It's funny. He's like, He's like, yeah, I get paid the carbon tax on the 23rd. I'm like, I'm getting paid. And he's like, what are you doing with it? And he's like, I'm getting a game. I'm like, Saints Row? He's like, yeah. I'm like, yep, that's exactly what I'm doing with it, too. He's like, sweet. So I haven't spoken with any of the guys at the Syndicate yet to find out if they're even interested in playing um, a uh, a series with that either. It's been a while. We haven't really uh, had full contact with as a group in a, a long, long time. But yeah, no, so, yeah, we'll find out, we'll find out. Now, that doesn't come out until, like, I think it's August 23rd or something like that, so. I'm hoping to hear more about it. Like to see a bit more, because if it's going to be, you know, kind of janky graphics and, you know, stuff like that, eh, I don't know. I want to see what I'm getting in for, you know what I mean? If you're going to be in for the penny, might as well be in for the mile. Uh, why, why you do this to me? Why you do that to me? Oh, okay. Well. But yes, sir. Saints Row is, is something my brother and I have played together for many, many years and loved every, every silly moment of it from the weird mushroom trips to the, uh, there was one where you had to, uh, run around. I can't remember if it was like a race or something or what you had to do, but you were completely butt-ass naked and you were on like this wild acid trip at the same time. It was hilarious. I just laughed our asses off with that. Just absolutely loved every moment of it. What else have we played? We've played um, Crackdown. 
played a bunch of the Crackdown series together. Um, the Sherlock Holmes is more me and my, my mom and sisters type of thing. My brother really isn't big into the Sherlock Holmes series. Uh, what else was there? Uh, Borderlands. Brother and I have played uh, all the Borderlands together now. There's... Oh, excellent. Thank you, Lean. That would work out perfectly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Excellent. Yeah, I'll definitely check it out. There was something else everybody was asking me about if I ever played, and it was... um. Uh, Terraria? Is that how it's pronounced? Terraria? Terraria? Something like that, but that type of game, that, that one there is not my, my type of bag. Not, not, not big on that type. Them throwing chain links around and having all these weird fireballs circling the screen and, you know, 16 different levels that you got to keep track of all at once. It's, it's a little much, a little much for the uh, fibro addled mind. Uh, my body, uh, my body, my buddy Johnny um, has played it quite a bit though. Um, Johnny Tortilla and Red Tortilla's wife, they play it together. Yeah, it's too much for you as well, Terraria. Yeah, I, I think it's called Terraria. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. Nice. Welcome home, bud. Welcome home. I hope the uh, camping trip was everything you wanted it to be. No rains, just the nice, chill, relaxed, good times. Hang out in the sun and have some fun camping trip for you, man. And happy birthday. Uh, Activision game, Street Legal Racing? No, I've played, uh, uh oh, what was it called? MSR, Metropolis Street Racer on the Dreamcast. That game was pre-GT, pre-everything, and it it taught you how to drive properly. Um, it was, to this day, still far superior than any of the GT games. Uh, I can't remember. There was Gran Turismo, and then there was something else that came out just shortly after it, and they were trying to copy it, but MSR did something what was called kudos so whenever you were doing really good it would give you points and stuff so it really it taught you how to drive properly you know so it's like you take the the corner at maximum apex and stuff like that it would give you an apex bonus and stuff like that and points so it really taught you how to how to race and it penalized you if you were one second behind there is no catch-up like, yeah, but same with the PC though, like with the NPCs, they didn't, you know, they didn't have that, you know, rubber band catch up feature. If you were doing amazing, you were doing amazing. So it was one thing that uh, my brother and I really enjoyed about that game. Is, yeah, it definitely taught you how to drive, how to be a really good driver. Like in uh, like racing aspect of, of driving, you know, coming in slow in, fast out, things like that. The, the NPCs were ruthless, just just brutal ruthless on you you know if you like i said if you didn't take the corner at that right speed at the right apex they'd be just going right by you winging by you yes before forza this was before forza on gt that's right but i still think that it is a better game than those honestly i honestly think that metropolis street racer is better than all of those Especially at the time, coming out on the Dreamcast, like, the developers who came up with that, they had a good, good development plan. They did a fantastic job on that. Yeah, but this, this, this game taught you how to, you know, um, what's my brother call it, you know, use the holy shit stick. You know, like things like that where, you know, you just, you had to, you know, do everything just the right way, just thus and so, and you'd end up having yourself, you know, wicked speed times and things. It, like I said, it was just, it just taught you how to drive. It was awesome. Oh, I can't wait for Caveman to start getting into that. He's into, um, oh, the Mario Kart now, so... He rented that from the library, was it two weeks ago? Something like that, so. Uh, 
Oh, that's cool. That reminds me of Apex. Hey, Derek. Oh, a boat trip for the weekend, dude. Nice. Nice. Does it have like a, a giant um, canvas roof on it? Because if it's a wide open boat, you wouldn't catch me arse on it. Uh-uh. You'd be all going like, what's that burning smell? <laughs> Don't worry, it's just me. Wow, okay, so yeah, as you can see, we got a bit of a, a mesh collision issue going on here. Too many items inside the machine. So it's causing it to, uh, to throw the trailer around. Golly. It would be fantastic. I, I, I give, I give kudos to the Hydroneer developer. He needed help and he actually went out and got it. He got himself a second partner or got himself a partner slash another developer to work with them and everything. So good on him. Good on him. He did the right thing. He was a little over his head there for a little bit, but he did the right thing. So no, I'm really impressed with the Hydroneer guy. Still not impressed with the game itself, period. But, I mean, overall, the guy himself. Yeah, good job, man. Good job. And we haven't saved in a day or two. Let's just, let's just do a quick save. Nice. Good canopy. Yeah, just, yeah, exactly. Just jump in the water. Just, you know, first jump into a bathtub of, like, sunscreen 2 million. And then jump into the lake. Leave an oil slick and hide underneath that sunscreen oil slick with just a small snorkel stout spout sticking up. Yep. Uh, I'd probably do better with that than anything. <sighs> yeah, no, I do not do good out in the sun. Oh, I just... Urgh. This MCR1 gene, whatever they want to call it for us redheads, sucks. <laughs> I say I go out in a new moon and I get burnt. And the joke behind that, for those who don't know, is a new moon is a no moon. There's no moon outside and I still get burnt. All right, one more, one more. And that should be all that we can fit into the back of this thing. As long as it... There we go. Gimme. Perfect. Alright, so that's... Four across. One, two, three, four, five. So we got 20 in here. I need another four. So I think it takes eight a day. So yeah, perfect. We'll take these four, throw these in the back of the truck. And we'll go do our best not to die or lose this load as we are driving all the way to mainland Canada. Can I come through? Thanks. See, so yeah, now I'm holding 34 frames per second. Oh, I lied. Now it dropped down to 11 for a second. Come on, let me through. Jeez. This door and I have issues. And one more. Man, that still leaves us with uh, 6, 12, 18. That's, uh, we still have 180,000 sitting on that shelf. <laughs> My goodness, drugs are lucrative in this game. Now, this is going to be interesting trying to get out of here. Because I can't get under the trailer unless, of course, I drive forward. But we'll get it. Woo! Now, technically, everything should be so wedged into that trailer that nothing should pop out in the trailer unless I ram into something. 
but it's the ones that are in the back of the pickup truck that are going to fly around and go crazy on us that we got to keep an eye on. Oh. Uh, went up into the canyon, steering cable gave out, so I was manually making the right turns while my cousin made the left turns. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, no, definitely, man. Yeah, yeah, I will definitely leave an oil slick. If I if I go out on a boat with an open top, I mean, yeah, I gotta just bathe in sunscreen all the time. Otherwise, I blister. And it doesn't take very long. Like, we're talking like 20 minutes, and you start seeing these little pustules start popping up on my arms and shit. It's like, wow. So sensitive to the sun. And as I get older, it's getting worse. I thought as you got older, your skin was supposed to be able to take more skin damage. No. Not at all. That is not the case in my case. No, I mean, like, that's where I'm getting blisters there. Like, 20 minutes, I'm out there, I'm getting blisters. I mean, five minutes, and I can, you know, start turning lobster. Did we lose one back there, folks? No. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah, no, sunshine and I, yeah, not so good. No, one day I was out there working me tail feathers off out in the oil field, and I forgot to do my ears, did my neck, did my face. Uh, I was in long sleeve coveralls with gloves and everything. I was working an acid truck at the time, so we were like in full suit, right? The only thing that was sticking out was my head. So, you know, I had uh, the hard hat on, but I forgot to put bloody sunscreen on my ears I ended up getting to the hotel that night and it was brutal it looked like I had cauliflower ear it was just so much fluid and the blisters were just massive oh. no and that was on the third day of a 28 day run so I ended up having to uh, lotion on them and everything else and, and finally when they broke oh god that was disgusting when uh, the, when they broke yeah can we get some medical sunscreen like with insurance yeah pretty much you just tar and feather me <laughs> that'll be the best sunscreen that's out there <laughs> just make it so it doesn't come off uh, I'm not sure did we lose one no nope, we're good alright so hold on I want to do this though That's better. Less turning, more speed in the back roads here. Oh my god. Ugh, I hate you, bud. I did really good from the time I was about 14 to the time I was 22. I could get like a real good golden tan. My freckles came out like you wouldn't believe, but yeah, no, I, I, I used to be able to get a real good golden tan on my arms. Then, I don't know what happened, whether it was, you know, human intervention, ozone, climate change, I don't care, whatever happened. But, yee, all of a sudden, my skin just started not liking the sun at all. Yeah, because it was around my college years, so, when we were going out doing the baseball, you know, camping and baseball tourneys and type stuff, beer league stuff. Just was not, was not, uh, was not having it, my body was not liking it, I was getting sunstroke, heat stroke. All the time. It was bad. It was really bad. Now, I'm not even going to bother trying to back this trailer up that because that ramp is not nearly smooth and the undulations just make the trailer go all over the place. Quite sad, really. Quite sad. They had an opportunity that they missed. Come on. Three minutes. Got my eyes on you. Come on. One minute. Blink. There we go. Uh, my mother has that. She has an illness and all my pigment is just disappearing. Oh, wow. Weird. No, that's not good. No, I don't have that. I just, I'm just redhead. That's pure and simple redhead, light blue eye colors. 
Oh. Yeah, my, my son, uh, for Father's Day and my birthday, he did a uh, little poster here thing. It says, all about my dad, my caveman. My dad is 49 years old. He, he wasn't, he was incorrect about that. I'm 45. Uh, he has gray eyes and brown hair. Um, I have light, 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 light blue eyes and red hair. <laughs> it's like, yeah, his mom doesn't keep him away from me any, at all. No, no, no. But yeah, I, I can understand why he thinks my eyes are gray, though, because they're just such a light blue. His job is to play video games and love me. <laughs> I love that. That is great. That's my job. Play video games and to love my kid. Yep. Exactly, Lean. Exactly. You know, it's kind of sad that, you know. Yeah, you know, the kid doesn't, you know, remember half the time. He loves to eat burgers. His favorite drink is pop. He's really good at making those burgers. He always says, I love you. He is happy when I hug him. He is super because he gets to play the games before other people do. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> so, isms. So, yeah, he did that. Uh, I think it was like the second last week of his school, something like that. Because his school went right up, right up until the very last week of June. I think, like, June 27th was his last day of classes. So it was the week before that. For Father's Day slash birthday. Then he drew me this really cool uh, world's best dad um, picture. And he got, like, a really cool card. Because my dad is super, or no, my incredible dad. And then it's got this little slip sleeve in it, and then you lift it up, and then it's got... Uh, like the Superman outfit underneath the, the the dad's clothes type deal. It's pretty awesome. Get rid of the bigger packs. We'll make ourselves some extra mahonies. We'll have a million in no time. Like I said, we still have another 180,000 sitting on that shelf. We have 60 plus, no, 60 barrels of full maple syrup. So that's 60,000 a week for four weeks. That would be another $240,000. So yeah. We have over a million in inventories. We're doing all right, I'd say. I'd say we're doing all right. Why? Just give me. Oh, I wonder. Hold on. I don't remember. Were there plants in here in this place? Were there? Were there? No, these guys need to have some plants in their place. I want to be able to buy that flag, that flag. Yeah, I'm not so big on those pictures. That flag and that flag. I want all these. I want this one especially. And this one. This one. Yeah, it's my third pick. Fourth pick. Number one. I want that one. That's a Canadian pride and joy right there. Oh, you bugger. I wish I could get dark like that. Oh, man. Oh, I'm so white. <laughs> I'm so white that I glow in the dark. But I have freckles, so I contrast, I guess you could say. It's just make me harder to see, like, those, uh... Those... Do you remember those old t-shirts that had that dot printed? It was, like, one tequila, two tequila, three tequila floor, and you could just barely read it because of the way it was dot printed? It's probably what I look like at night, just because of the way the, the freckles are. Jeez, man. No, no, if I were to get dark like that, I would probably be worried about skin cancer myself, quite honestly. That's crazy. So what do you call that? You know, bronze? <laughs> <laughs> a 
or would that be a um well what do they call it when something's got all the aging and everything else on it you know like they they take those toys or whatever and then they make it look like they're aged i can't remember what they call it Oh, no, look at that. Right into a tree. Four-wheel drive. Nowhere near the turning radius that you have in the two-wheel drive. But you can drive up these hills at a decent speed. Like a flour tortilla? Yeah, same about me, Demo. Yep, same about me. I, well, I guess I can't really say that. I do have the freckles, but... Yeah, uh, I'm 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 very white underneath those freckles. Like I don't tan anymore. It just goes from white to red, back to white again. There's just no, there is no tanning anymore for me. Just it's just skips the tan stage, goes straight to burn. Then when my body heals it, it goes from burn to back to pasty white. Good old Casper over here. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. I knew this one lady, um, Lisa, uh, when I was uh, just out of high school. And she was like that, like, just unbelievable how dark she would get. And why did stuff just go flying out of my truck? Uh, it's one thing I do not appreciate about this pickup truck. You take a slight little bump, stuff goes flying. The guy needs to work on his collision meshing. Because if, he's, if he doesn't have an issue with collision meshing and he's doing this on purpose, then he definitely would not get a uh, job with a AAA company ever. They'd be like, no, you purposely tried to, you know, make things harder. You, you know, weren't installing quality of life things. No. Okay, did we catch everything? I think so. I think we got everything. Yep, we're good. Oh, this tube. Yeah, we're back to well. GG at GG Mail. That's right. And I came up with the, the game in Gargoyle before the Google came around a long time ago. I was Gargoyle 420 uh, at Hotmail for many, many, many years uh, doing the, um, the Justin TV. And then Google was coming out with uh, their their mail system and everything else. I was like, cool. And Justin TV told me I had to change my name around and everything else due to the... Uh, that they were trying to sell it and trying to, uh, you know, entice you know larger companies and all this so they made us change there's a few of us that they basically said look change or you're going to get banned quite literally that was the email it was like yeah you've got to change your name you can't be 420 can't have uh, you know marijuana stuff's on your streams yada 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 clean up your act that crap so i swatched it over to game and gargoyle and got myself a gmail account and jesus that was close uh, okay, yep. I felt a couple of things uh, go up into my throat on that. Yep, that was... Uh, actually, you know what we'll do? We'll go get some more of those... Uh, more lids. Go get some more of those maple syrup lids. Yeah, it's, uh, but it is, it's, it's Gaiman Gargoyle at gmail.com. That's, that's my, uh, my email. It's uh, also on the homepage there too, uh, Matt. Also on the homepage. All right, what do we got over here? Looking good. And I'll, I'll eek. Uh, I don't want a machine. I want your lids. Man, at one point in time, we had uh, over 400 lids. So we have drank over... Well, let's find out. 
we have drank 544 syrup. Holy cow. Holy cow. That's crazy. That is crazy. 165 poutine. Wow. But we've only drank in like 30 plus coffees. Like, how can you tell I'm not a big coffee drinker? Now, if it was hot chocolate in game, well then now, now we got something going on. Or ice caps, but no, not for the coffees, thanks. Oh, I made it. I was able to cut him off. I was, I was thinking that we were probably going to do a tail whip into him, but nope. The, the trailer held its track, and we didn't cause any damage. Whew. Oh, my legs. Quit it. I know we've been streaming for like two hours. I know. Quit. Quit aching. I gotta go out and do some grocery shopping. I got all the... I got all my fresh veggies and stuff like that the other day for uh, some burritos. I just went down to the local grocery store. But I need to go to Costco and I gotta go to Walmart. Need toilet paper. Need hot chocolate. Need iced tea. Well, not iced tea. Um, sorry, I need... Um, I keep calling sweet tea iced tea, but it's totally two different things. I do buy iced tea crystals, but I much prefer to make my sweet tea myself. Uh, just saw somebody just added me to their friends list. Gonna have to check that hey, oh yeah uh, anybody uh, just let anybody know unless you notify me ahead of time that and who you are in on on steam i don't usually accept friends list uh unless i know who exactly who it is because i get 50 to 60 uh, a week of people i just don't know they catch my videos and then they're like oh yeah add me as a steam friend it's like uh who are you <laughs> oh I, I watched all your videos okay um have you been in my streams? Uh, no. Oh. I want you to hang out with me for a little while first before I accept that. <laughs> then some people get really pissy about it. It's like, wow. Um, yeah, I just, you know, with everything that goes on in this world for, you know, cybersecurity, I'd rather just be a little safer than sorry. Hans, how are you? You didn't stand up at the hour moment? What? missing it <laughs> are you threatening me <laughs> oh man yeah good old oh there we go there we go there's the one that popped out of the world I'll see if there's anything else that I've accidentally thrown away oh apparently we've had a log fall through the world and a huge pack. So sweet. We've gained our huge pack back. So we did get five. Sweet. Another 10k right there. You betcha, bud. Yeah, it was a, a, a psycho something or other had just added me to their Steam's friend list. And it's like, uh, ooh. <laughs> I have no no problems with, you know, being Steam friends with the people that I know. But it's just, it's it's kind of like, you know. Walking up to somebody's house, just kind of, you know, banging on the door. Hey, let's go for dinner. Uh, who the hell are you? All right. Looking good. <laughs> yeah, after a while, bud, it's like you end up getting a list of like 40 or 50 people you're saying hey to. It's like, did I miss anybody? Hope I didn't miss anybody. I didn't mean to miss anybody if I did. Boom. There we go. Oh, it's yours? Psycho something like that is yours, Matt? Okay. Okay, cool. But as long as I know whose is whose, I'm all good for it. Yeah. But if I don't know who you are, it's really hard for me to, uh, to, to, to justify it going, hmm, could be one of these guys that, you know, they get in there, get access to your account and start messing things around with. You got to be careful as a YouTuber, right? 
when you put yourself out there in the public all the time. Oh, the basement? It's already in, man. The basement is here. Hold on, let me just, uh, let's grab a drink. So we got about a month's worth left of maple syrup lids. So that's not bad. Uh, quit complaining, legs. Actually, you know what? I think what I'll do is actually, yeah. I'll go tomorrow. I'll probably, yeah, I'll go uh, tomorrow because I, I just know my legs. If I try to push it tonight, I won't be able to do anything tomorrow. So, yeah, I'll play it safe. I'll play it smart. I won't go out tonight. I'll finish up the paperwork for the for the X, for the, for the kids uh, stuff. And what else is there? I was doing something. What was I doing? Oh, yeah, the basement. I was going to show off the basement. Here is the basement. Completely filled. We actually had one more row. Now, the only problem with that one row is it doesn't get the controlled environment settings. It gets water and fertilizer, but doesn't get the controlled environment. So it doesn't grow nearly as fast as this row here, all the way down there. We pretty much did it all the way out to here. We had 48 rows. We had 156, or 1,054, sorry, uh, buckets. I think we're now at like 1,030 buckets, something like that. But yeah. So this is what I've been doing for like the last month and change. Um, just coming in, playing for like 30, 40, 50 minutes, something like that. Um, buying about a week's worth of these um, pots because you can get 50 a week. You can buy 10 per day and the store is only open Monday through Friday. So that's why you can only get about 50 per week. Like I said, it's not perfect. Um, there is a lot of issues with um, programming of the mesh, uh, mesh, the mesh collision. So these things are always kind of wiggling a little bit. So that's kind of killing your CPU. Now, starting from about this zone here, all those wiggles start opening up these big cracks and moving everything forward. So, but once every, I'm thinking probably about two, maybe three months at the most max in game, I'll have to come out, rip these three rows out, get them all squared up, and then be able to reach over here, get these squared up, and then fill this back in. Then come over here, and it's just this one row here that has the same issue starting at this speaker box. It starts wiggling forward, it lifts this one out, and then over time, it does the same thing, wiggles it, and lifts this one out as well. So the only way to get fix that is to remove this entire row, put them all back in again, but you got to take out basically these nine here so that way you have space to be able to do it and put up with all the frame rates issues that we get. So we have another 7,000 seeds here. We're good for that. We have a bunch of fertilizer packed up. We got more fertilizer in here, auto fertilizer in the reservoir, which is pretty cool. Press the button, gives you a bag, take the bag, Put it in your your hand slash inventory or whatever and then you just poof click on this and you automatically fills it up 25 percent per bag so one round of uh compost does a thousand or does a hundred percent in here and i think you can probably get about at least two crops off of uh one full tank so pretty sweet need a lock place yeah well this works good enough i mean really the way it's set up here i'll show you uh Gotcha, bud. Perfect. Yeah, like, like I said, you know, if I know who you are, that's not a big deal. You know, like, say, uh, say Eden had a, you know, Eden 83, 84 or something like that, you know, I would know what that it's Eden. But, you know, if they came in like, you know, Princess Beret or something like that, you know, I, I don't know who you are. So I don't, I don't accept them unless I know who you are. So, okay, so the psycho one is Matt and, of course, Buds is Buds. All right, perfect. Actually, can I do that right now? Hold on. Uh, here we go. I got one. Yeah, I have Psycho Pagan. There we go. We'll confirm the mutual friend on that one. And I thought you were already in my friends list, weren't you, bud? Nope, doesn't look like it. Yeah, just did a quick search. Couldn't find it. No results found for bud. Whew. Let's see, so we got 80 here. Let's go ahead and fill this up. Okay. 
You haven't always been Jack the Reaper. Well, and that totally makes sense. I mean, right? You know, that's the way life goes. So these baskets here, it's 20% for a full fryer mesh per. So you can get five. Uh, so that'd be what? 25 poutines out of that. So that's pretty good deal. Now I'm looking at it here and I'm going, you know what? Ah, to heck with the dealer guys right now. Because let's see, we could use probably one, two, three, three at the dealer's place. And I don't have that many here I want to give up. <laughs> so we'd have to buy another three in order to get it, but I'm not going to worry about it today. Because I think that's where we're going to end things off. Uh, I really enjoyed hanging out with everybody as always. I want to say thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed what we've done. Um, I've put a lot of hours into this game. Um... I don't know how many exactly. I do know that we're about 415 days in game, something like that. We've really been really putting on the the, the, the fun on this game. We're definitely doing that. Oh, and there we go. Just got another. Oh, and Bud's saying, yeah, I just uh, sent you a list. So there you go. You've been added, sir. But yeah, lots of time, lots of fun spent, uh, lots of fun has been spent playing this game, getting us to the where it was. Um, greatly appreciate every single last one of you who've been along for the ride. You know, as more things pop up in this game, we'll keep on doing it. I'll probably pop in here and there, just do a couple little things. I'll probably go, you know, do some plants for the dealer guys. I'll probably um, uh, get some more lids and stuff for the maple syrup just to get things all set up for the next update. I don't know when that update's going to be, but uh, for now, we're probably just going to do a bit more focusing on the Landlord Super because after speaking with the dev mod, I'm not sure who that guy was last night. You know, he sounded like he was a dev, but I thought there was only one dev Minx, and I wasn't talking to Minx, I was talking to somebody else. But uh, basically, in the long run, uh, we can tear down the house that's there through assist there's a system how did how did what was the message there is a system to tear down the houses after the first tenant um the game is built around the aspect that you're basically allowed to free to build within the confines of the controls of the assets that are available so that's pretty cool that means we can start building our own houses and stuff here pretty soon i want to check that out myself personally i want to see what we can do with it i want to see how big this yard truly is and uh, how much we can do with it it would be pretty neat i think if we could do uh, a, de a decent little uh, house build on it so that's going to take us a while as well um but oh yeah hold on yeah forgot about the cam sorry folks out of practice out of practice uh but yeah i uh, really look forward to having a lot of fun with this uh, landlord super i don't know if there's any other games or anything else popping out we might play around with a couple others here and there maybe some demos and such just i don't know at this time uh, what the future brings for us up until about august and that'll be when i said uh, that we're looking at getting the uh, saints row so i'm uh, looking forward to that so as always, no matter where you are in the world today, thank you for taking the time to kick back, relax, and unwind with me. Hope you have yourself a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon, good night. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with some Landlord Super. Laters! Oh, and once again, thank you. Big shout outs to um, uh, Rock and Roller for his $10 donations, as well as these awesome people here coming up on the list. The channel members of eBuzz, Shane, Indigo, William, Karsten, Little Mac, Devin, Any64, Sam, Matt, and Bob. You all are amazing. Without you, I wouldn't be able to do it. Heck, I couldn't do it. Uh, all this uh, YouTube stuff. So thank you once again for your support. And I'll see you tomorrow. Later. <laughs> I mess up every exit. <laughs>